Hi everybody, this is Dan Bigman, the founder of LearnGPR.com and the creator of the GPR Basics course. Um, and I'm coming with you today with a quick video about the reasons that you might struggle to find your target. So a couple weeks back, I did a video about what you might do um, when you can't find your target. And, you know, I kind of focused on if you can't find a utility, for example, you know, how can you potentially still locate your utility? Uh, and I you know, discussed the possibility of, of looking for the disturbed soil of a trench. But I didn't go over the reasons why you might struggle to actually find your target. And so I'm going to give you three things that you need to consider as possible issues of why you can't find the target that you are looking for. And this could be a utility, it could be a buried grave or an archaeological target. Um, you know, like a buried house floor, something like that. Uh, it, it could be a number of things. And so why might you struggle to find your target? So reason number one, okay, reason number one that you might struggle to find your target is that you have the wrong antenna frequency. So if you have the wrong antenna frequency, you could have too high of a frequency or you could have too low of a frequency. So when might you have too high of a frequency? Let's say that your target is buried too deep for the conditions that you're in, um, and you have, you know, an antenna that might see, you know, one meter below the ground surface. So let's say you have a 900 megahertz antenna; it see, can see about three feet below the ground surface, but your utility is buried, uh, you know, six feet below the ground surface. Well, then you have the wrong antenna, right? And in that case, your antenna frequency would be too high. On the other hand, you could have an antenna frequency that's too low. Let's say you're looking for a pipe that is, um, you know, buried four inches below the ground surface, and your pipe is only, you know, three inches in diameter, but you have a 200 megahertz antenna frequency. Well, the wavelength of that frequency is going to potentially be too long and the resolution too poor where you may completely miss your pipe. So it could be an issue of frequency. So issue number two is the soil properties, right? The soils that you're working in might not be um, ideal. And so let's hypothetically say you work where I often work, which is in northern Georgia near Atlanta then you're working in clay. And we all know that clay is one of the worst conditions that you can use ground penetrating radar in. Um, but it's certainly, you can, you can still work in clay. I mean, I was talking to somebody earlier today who told me they don't even take their GPR out of their closet because it didn't work in clay once or twice. And I got to tell you, please don't put your GPR in the closet. Please keep it out. Um, so you can work in clay. But here's the point. Let's say you have an antenna like a, that, that can see 12 feet below the surface. And you have a pipe or a grave that is buried five feet below the surface. If you're working in clay, then your antenna, even though it's supposed to see 12 feet, might only see three feet because your conditions are poor. So one way to compensate for this is either to look for disturbed soils, like I spoke about in a, in a previous uh, video, or change your antenna frequency. Uh, a lower antenna frequency will still prospect low, deeper um, than a higher antenna frequency. You know, uh, even though it might not prospect to its full potential, it'll still prospect deeper than a higher frequency uh, in poor soils. So you can, you can adjust that. The final issue, reason why you might not see your target that you're looking for, is contrast. So if your target doesn't contrast enough with your surrounding soil, it could be a struggle to see your target. And here is an example, whether it's your pipe, I'll give you an archeological example, actually. So there's sometimes issues in Central America where archeologists are working on Maya sites and the Maya basically cut limestone blocks to construct their architecture. However, the soils, you know, have a, a, a are, are, are basically they're limestone soils, right? Limestone-based soils, excuse me. Limestone-based soils. So you have a limestone cut block embedded in now, buried in limestone soil, limestone-based soils, and 
there's very little difference in the physical properties. Now, there's obviously difference in compaction, but the reflection off of the limestone cut blocks in this area are very subtle, and it could be very difficult to see your target. So, so uh, uh, contrast can be an issue. If there's not enough contrast, that's another reason why you might not see your target. Um, and so those are three issues why you might struggle. Um, so do, I want you to do me a favor. In, this, in the comment section below, go ahead and comment and tell me about a time where you struggled to find a target and tell me which one of these three issues you think was responsible for you not being able to see your target. Look, we've all been on projects where you can't see what you're looking for. You can't identify what you're looking for. You can't locate what you're looking for. Don't be ashamed. I, I'm the first to say it. I've been on projects where I could not find the targets I was looking for. It happens. It happens. Don't be ashamed. You just got to recognize that you want to minimize the times that that happens and maximize the times that you can come out with success. And by knowing the fundamentals of ground penetrating radar, by taking the GPR basics course, for example, you can reduce risk and you can increase the rates of success. But it happens to all of us. GPR, not the magic bullet. So go ahead and put in the comments below one time that you had a problem locating your target and I want to know which one of these three issues, antenna frequency, soils, or issues with contrast uh, that you think was responsible for you not being able to see your target. So I hope that this was helpful. Please, if you found it valuable, share it around, share it with a friend, a colleague, a classmate. And if you haven't done so yet, go over to learngpr.com and put in your name and email address and we will send you these videos every single week. So thank you so much and uh, happy surveying. I'll see you on the next video.